to a more level playing field in an area formerly dominated by boys making video games. Special correspondent Sandra Hughes has the story. It's no secret that video gaming is aimed at a male audience. From creation to design to playing the games, the mostly violent first-person shooter games target boys, not girls. No wonder, in 2013, women accounted for just 11% of computer game designers and only 3% of programmers. Ten-year-old Scarlett Thompson isn't too young to understand there's a gender gap. I love video games. Do you really? Yeah. So. I so mean, what's it like? Really what's no. it like for a girl who likes video games? Is it is it's it a tough world to be in? Kind of, because then like you have to compete with people, and it's just sometimes it's really hard. Like online, it's not as fair. And like, oh, like I like oh no, I have a girl on my team. What am I gonna do? These girls want to be more than just on the team. They want to create the game. They spent their summer break along with thousands of others at girls only computer coding camps like the Alexa Cafe and Code Like a Girl. These camps aim to balance the gender gap in the next generation of coders by supporting an early interest in technology from girls. We're trying to create that environment to say, hey, you could be the world's best coder. It doesn't have to be your brother or it doesn't have to be like a male. It can be you. It's called Code Like a Girl because we want to be treated equal, but that doesn't mean that I totally say, oh, boys stink. Mm -hmm. Because I'd be kind of not really, I'd be kind of hypocritical, I guess. It's awesome because we all are here to learn more. We all have great intellectual minds and we're all very curious and we all have great ideas and we, all, we feed off of each other with our great ideas. These young coders say that learning in an all-girl environment has allowed them to focus more on cooperation and less on the competition they feel in school when working with boys. At school, there's always been a little bit of an issue when we do a robotics unit. They think they're the only ones capable of coding and doing the work, so often it becomes a lot harder to do any of the work. Or when you bounce an idea off someone, they're more as like, no, my idea is right. But here it's a lot of you ask someone for an idea and they're very, oh, here, let me help you. And it's a lot less of, no, you're wrong. And so it's just really nice to be in a really collaborative environment. 11-year-old Kendall McDermott hasn't found boys collaborative or even friendly when she plays online video games. To avoid harassment, she plays online as a he. So usually I avoid mentioning gender, which makes it a lot more enjoyable, but it's kind of sad to think that if you say, oh, if you check the, because when they say, are you male or female? Mm -hmm. If you check female, sometimes you get a lot of hackers and spammers and people saying rude things, even though they know nothing about you and don't have a photo of you or anything. The camp instructors see differences in how girls and boys create their games. She's Supergirl, right? So she has to save somebody. Girls' games focus more on a narrative than competition. Is there a difference between sort of what the girls and the boys do online? I don't think camps? there's a difference, but I think that girls will make it more friendly and more like visual and happy instead of like just gun games and dark and gloomy and scary. At Alexa Cafe, the girls design games aimed at having a positive social impact like Scarlett's plan to save sea turtles. I made a game and it was, you clean up all the trash before the turtles get them, mm -hmm. it, and you have like three seconds to do it. It's actually pretty hard. <laughs> Why do you think, Scarlett, it's important for girls to get to understand technology and get involved with coding and gaming and all of this. Why, why do girls need to get involved more? When girls start to run like these video games, then it will just help a lot because then girls will allow girls to come on that video game. We'll get just more and more girls, right? right. And yeah. then it'll be fair and it'll be yeah. even. Right now it's not so fair and even. Mm -mm. If you only have one type of person thinking about something, and they can't find a solution to a problem, that might be because of the way they're coming, uh, they're coming to it. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes girls might have a different interpretation of the problem, and that way it means they might come up with a different solution. A solution that includes both boys and girls coding together and creating games they both will enjoy. For the PBS NewsHour, this is Sandra Hughes in Los Angeles.